Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week, or no, this is for mid-November 2024. Uh, you have this message in a bottle card in this leg up card. Uh, for weeks now, you've been getting these messages of potentially, you know, getting approval for something or, um, you know, getting like a raise or a promotion or a new position as well. So I definitely feel that theme is kind of like sticking around. Both of those cards can kind of represent, um, you know, well, obviously one is about being lifted up and the other one is about receiving good news. So there could be some good news coming in for you, especially for those of you uh, that have been struggling for work, which again, if you've been watching me for a while, I think Libra has had a hard time with work since like 2016, somewhere around there. And, um, you know, just based off your astrology, it's probably, you know, the struggle has more probably been like finding something that you actually want or, you know, getting something that you're qualified for. And so I think that's where the challenges have come up for you in regards to work. Uh, the good news is, is that that is changing. If, you know, if that part of the message resonates with you, uh, you have the moon here. And, um, you know, again, I kind of feel like the moon is talking about just uncertainty about the future. The moon can just simply represent being uncertain <laughs> about where you're going. You know, it, it, the moon is dark on this card, although it is a full moon. And the whole point of the full, the full moon on the moon is that if you've ever been outside on a full moon, you can still kind of like see, you know, right? It's still kind of bright, but there are shadows being cast all over the place. And it's like with the moon, you don't know if those shadows are real or fake. And so the whole point of the moon is about operating in, um, you know, in your life and moving forward and not kind of like knowing if you're going in the right direction or not. The trick with the moon is to just pick a path and stick with it, right? These two path, these two pillars right here on the moon, they are kind of like a warning to the fool. They tell him to not get off his path. They tell him to complete his journey. And in the area of your thoughts uh, in this reading, which I'll show you in a second, you have the chariot, and the chariot, I don't know what's going on with my lighting today, but I look super bright, so hope, hopefully that's not too bright, but anyway, uh, like I said, I think, you know, this is all about continuing on the journey, holding that vision, and accomplishing one thing, seeing it all the way through to the end, and not getting off the path, so sometimes when we are very close to accomplishing something, I feel like we get off of our path, and this kind of says you need to stay the course and not get off your path. Uh, your crossing energy is the two of cups, Two of Cups can represent this or that thinking, and Two of Cups kind of says that, I, I do not know what's going on with this camera today, but anyway, Two of Cups can say that you need to, uh, you know, can represent, um, you know, a perfect match coming in for you as well. Really, I feel like the Two of Cups is talking about listening to your higher self. The Two of Cups has these two people here, and it can represent you, like you and your higher self. Uh, this right here is the Staff of Hermes, and the Staff of Hermes is Mercury, and it just represents communication. So I think it would be an amazing time for you to like communicate with your higher self, and you can do this through like meditation. Uh, with the Moon card, you can listen to your intuition, and all of that would be very good for you this week here, Libra. Uh, most importantly in this reading, I think you have the Chariot, and the Chariot is like a victory or big win. It's showing up in the area of your thoughts, so it's like clear to me that you are focusing or hoping for to have a big win, or you're imagining some sort of big win in your life. And again, I think that this Chariot is really with the Moon is really saying that you need to stay the course and see something through to the so especially if you've been working or trying to get something uh, for a very long period of time, I feel like this is saying do not get off your path, right? You know, keep pushing forward in the same direction that you're going in. I actually feel pretty good about this. I don't know if you feel as good as I feel right now about this, but... Um, you know, maybe not, uh, but I feel the chariot is kind of like a little bit of confirmation for you as well here, Libra. You know, he has these stars up here, these moons down here, and it represents as above, so below. And so he is in perfect alignment with what he wants and desires. And, you know, the whole point of this card is that you have to aim in a direction, you know, pick something that you want to accomplish, and you have to be in alignment, and then you will accomplish what you want quicker. And so I think that a lot of you actually are in alignment. It's like you are going in the right direction, whether it seems like it or not. Uh, in the area of your foundation, you have the Nine of Cups, which again tells us that you are in alignment. The Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment or receiving something you wish for, um, but the whole point of the card is that you are in alignment with what you want. He is meant to look chubby on this card because he is about to have a feast, um, but the reason he looks chubby is because he's had a feast before. 
And so the card itself kind of represents needing to have something before you can have it. And people always say, how is that possible? And I always say like, well, if you want love, you have to go be in love with yourself or go love nature. If you want money or abundance, you have to go be around abundance. You just have to only be in the energy of what you want and you will get it. And that's really what the Nine of Cups represents. But again, I do feel that you actually are in alignment, even if you're thinking that you're not. And so you are kind of like aiming in the right direction or, you know, things are going in the right direction for you is what I feel like that's saying. Uh, next in your past, this is the energy you are moving past. You have this butterfly. It says transformation is beautiful. You also have this moth. It says surrender now. I, I kind of feel like this is saying surrender to the transformation uh, that you're going through. Again, I, I think that since maybe 2016, the transformation that Libra has been going through hasn't been easy, but you know, I do think things are kind of like improving. I feel like you've been you know forced to do things that you don't want to do. Like I said, like you know, maybe you desperately needed a job back in 2016, 2017, 2018. And you just had to take what you could get and, you know, it maybe it wasn't as great as you wanted it to be, uh, but you probably learned a lot and this is causing a transformation. So, you know, I, I almost feel with that leg up card that you've been in a period of like stepping stones, you know, we, we, we could call it that, right? And you've been growing a lot and it's like now you're getting the results is pretty much what this reading says. Also in the past, you have the Five of Swords, which is great to have a card like this in the past. Five of Swords can be like conflict. It can represent winning at all costs, battles, uh, breakups, things like that. And so I feel like you're leaving all this type of energy in the past and just walking away. I think also, you know, there is a theory, uh, or I guess you could say that even though these two guys have like darker colored hair, um, you know, there's a way to read this card where you say that all three of these guys are the same person and they've just are at different stages of their journey. So in his first stage back here, he lost a battle and he's kind of like crying with his head in his hands and he's walking away. And so he's really upset that he lost. In this stage of the battle, he's walking away, but he's walking away with his head held high. And then in his final stage here, he is the winner. And so it's almost like you have learned how to win, you know, <laughs> as silly as that sounds, right? Which is a good thing. Uh, next, in the area of your very near future, you have this approved card and this compassion card. A lot of these cards of like empathy and compassion have been coming up a lot in these readings. I always tell people like to try to be more, you know, I think we're in a time where people are on edge and, you know, people are upset about this and that and the other thing and that we need to be more compassionate with people and just let people off the hook. Like it's something that I've been working on um, for the past few years because like naturally I'm a dick, right? And um, I have a ton of Capricorn in my chart. So I'll just blame that. And um, so I've been trying to be less of a dick to people, right? And uh, you know, even on the road, just letting people off the hook, not get flying into road rage and things like that. I think it's really important uh, that we do that just so that we can change the energy and make it kind of turn in the right direction. And you know, I feel like that's what this compassion card is all about. Uh, this approved card, like I feel like you need to approve of your own journey with that moon card. There's like a full moon on this card as well. And um, you know, again, I think the moon is about like accepting the journey that you are on so that you can see it through to the end. Uh, also, in the very near future, you have the Justice card, which is you, Libra, showing up in a very strong position. So whenever you show up as yourself, this puts you in a position of power and strength and really allows you to get what you want from the reading. It's also a card of balance, but I really just feel this is saying that you are coming up as being present in the present position, <laughs> you know, in your current energies, which is great. You know, this can make you feel more empowered, more bold, more assertive. It can help you get ahead more. You know, all those other great things are kind of popping into my head. Uh, next in your outcome row, you have this card that says, you do not have to go it alone. Reach out for support in this time. You have that leg up card. So I'll show you. There's like this mother bear lifting up this baby bear. And I feel that this card is basically saying that you can ask for help if you need it. You have this card that says, you deserve to be seen. Let yourself be known. Yeah, you have the justice card. So maybe you need to stand out more. I think everybody does really. And, but especially you air signs, you know, you have Pluto going into Aquarius. When you think about it, Aquarius is a star card. And even though the star card isn't Pluto and Aquarius, it doesn't matter. I, I would still be trying to stand out as much as I possibly could. Um, I think everybody should do it, but I think air signs should do it extra. And so I would do whatever you can to get as much attention as you can. And this could be on things that matter to you, like, you know, causes, um, your business, um, you know, things that you're working on, whatever, like the more positive attention you get, the better. And that's what I feel like this is saying. 
Also, in the area of the next few months, you have the strength card. I, like, I feel like this is the payoff is really what I feel because you've been developing a lot of strength, which we basically have already said with that moon card. You know, it takes a lot of boldness and it takes a lot of strength to really kind of learn to trust yourself to complete the moon's, you know, the moon's part of the fool's journey. And, you know, I feel for a lot of you that you could be getting the results. You know, she is getting the result because people are seeing her do something crazy. You know, who in the right mind would stick their hands in a lion's mouth? And the answer is nobody. And she is getting this lion to submit to her. So it has its tail between its legs here and it is submitting to her. And so she has conquered herself. You know, she has conquered the lion, which represents her inner voice, her inner critic, her inner demons. And so a lot of people over the next few months could really be seeing your strength or, uh, you know, again, I think with the leg up card, you could even just be getting support just naturally, or you could feel like people are more on your side because of what you are accomplishing. And obviously that is a good thing. Uh, you have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is showing up in the area of your closest relationships. Uh, if you do want love, uh, this definitely could be a connection. It's not really a love reading, because, but you do have the Four of Wands here. You have the King of Swords. You have the Two of Cups, even though it's crossing. Again, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. Uh, you know, the Two of Cups would say that this could be a person who's different than your usual type. It's also popping into my head that this could also be like another Libra, or, you know, it could be just another air sign or you know it could be also a sign that you wouldn't normally date which i feel like i've said to you in the past as well so i would just like stay open and flexible if you do want love um also you know because this is coming up in the area of all your relationships the king of swords could say that it might be time to open up to people you know especially if you're feeling lonely or you know i think what did this card say it said uh, let yourself be known so you know the king of swords he might be in isolation or you know some people read him as being cold, which is true. <laughs> you know, he can definitely uh, be cold or, um, you know, unemotional, things like that. And it might be time to kind of like, you know, again, like get support, uh, spend time with friends, socialize, things like that. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the four wands. Four wands can represent marriage. Uh, four wands can also represent setting yourself free. You know, it is a card of freedom. And these people are, have been set free by crossing through this portal right here, this threshold, which is kind of like a finish line. So this, number one, it could be marriage and you could be meeting a person for sure. Uh, but really the four wands can represent like completing one stage of your life and crossing through this portal and getting to the next stage of your life. You know, the four wands is a card of completion. It says that you're ending one thing and starting another. And so a lot of you could be doing that. And you also have the two of wands as your outcome, which is very similar. He has this wand back here and that wand is something that stands on its own. And he's reaching forward and he's grabbing onto this other wand here and he has the whole world in his hands. So he has completed one thing and now he's ready to leave a comfort zone and take the lead. You know, the two wands is all about taking the lead in life and, um, you know, moving in a new direction and he's ready to move in a new direction. So really this reading is kind of like a boost, you know, a boost, a leg up, um, you know, completing one stage of your journey, moving on to the next. Uh, it looks, you know, again, I think it looks really good. I think it hasn't been easy, but, you know, definitely good. With the moon and the two of cups, you have the seven of cups, illusions, right? The moon is all about illusions. Like I said, the moon casts shadows, a full moon. And, you know, sometimes we're not sure if those shadows are real or if they're fake. The seven of cups kind of says we have to find out. You know, the seven of cups, he is dreaming of something or accomplishing something. But if you look at these cups, there are good things and bad things in some of those cups. But the thing with the seven of cups is we don't know how something is going to turn out unless we do it. So if you have a dream or just, you know, it could be just a project or something you're working on. The Seven of Cups says, you know, accomplish it or, or put work into it and find out. Don't just, you know, don't just imagine that things are going to go, you know, this way or that way. Uh, with the Chariot, you have the Page of Wands. Page of Wands is about being flexible. We're, everybody gets these cards of being flexible. Um, the Page of Wands is flexible because he just moves towards his inspirations or his enthusiasm, you know, meaning he's just excited to do something, so he does it. <laughs> it just, just that simple. He doesn't need, you know, a lot of evidence that something is going to work. He, the only evidence he needs is, again, his enthusiasm. He just feels excited to do something, and because he feels excited about something, he does it, and it's just that simple. Uh, with the Nine of Cups, you have the Five of Cups. 
Yeah, turn that frown upside down here, Libra. With the Nine of Cups, we have to be positive. You know, we have to focus on what we want, not on what we had. He is grieving the loss of the, his taste for wine. So the story of the card is that he used to enjoy wine, and he doesn't enjoy it any longer, but he's sad because he doesn't enjoy the wine any longer. But really, if he turned around, he would get these two cups, and then he would see this bridge and this castle, and so he would get something better. But instead, he's holding on to what was. And the Five of Cups really says we have to release the what was so that we can have what is going to be <laughs> or whatever. And that's what I feel like you need to do there. With the Five of Swords, you have the um, Eight of Pentacles. Yes, I definitely feel like some sort of work change for you, Libra. You know, even if you're not going to be leaving your job, you know, some of you obviously might still be keeping the job that you have. But the Eight of Pentacles just says that you could be getting something that's more worth it, or you could be getting something that's better. Um, or, you, you know, even if you're not leaving your job, you could be getting a raise or a promotion, like I said at the be beginning of the reading. But I, I really do feel that the, the majority of this reading is talking about work, even though this is the only eight, you know, the only Pentacle card you have so far in the reading. It doesn't matter. I, like, I felt work when I started the reading. And again, even if you're retired, you probably are working on something like around the house or maybe you're thinking about um, starting a hobby or something like that you know all of that can be you know work um, that brings fulfillment with the nine of cups but I feel like there is some sort of change in work that you're doing and it looks like it's going to pay off eight of pentacles is material success on the horizon with the justice card you have the queen of cups this would say that you need to put more a little bit more energy on the work side of things the queen of cups is all about following your heart and I mean, you know, again, I think you need to put more energy into your heart, not work. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking too much about work in this reading. And so I think you need to put a little bit more energy into what your heart is telling you to do, especially with the justice card, because you have a choice with the justice card. You can put it into this or that, right? And so I think that putting energy into the things that you're working on or creating, uh, but, but heart-based energy is going to be the secret here. We definitely have a lot of intuition here in the reading as well. So I would say that trusting your intuition Intuition is going to be your best friend. With the strength card, you have the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups says you need to have the strength to learn how to like walk away from things. And I, I feel like you have developed the strength. Like when something isn't right, you walk away. And that is a good way to live, right? Because we can get out of situations much sooner. I think we all, you know, all of us, I definitely do it. Um, you know, we kind of like stay in things that we know aren't right for too long. And I'm not just talking about love here. I'm talking about everything like work, business, you know, pretty much everything when we could easily make a change. And, you know, I think the Eight of Cups is with the strength card is saying that you have learned the lesson that it's just easier to end things that aren't right sooner than it is to like drag it out. And so, yeah, that's really all I get here. I thought, I thought there was going to be more, but that's it. With the King of Swords, yes, you have the Page of Cups. I feel, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I kind of feel like you could be attracting a person who has been hurt. I actually feel like this person is very soft, like very kind, caring person, but I kind of feel maybe they come off as, you know, cold or cold hearted with that King of Swords, but they're really not, uh, you know, so sometimes I think we, you know, people get hurt and they develop a thick skin. So I'm, you know, I'm wondering if that's what you're attracting here, but I, I don't know. It looks good to me at the same time, um, you know, because maybe this person will not have an, an issue opening up, even though maybe at first they just seem cold. So if you are attracting love, I would open up to it. Uh, if you don't want love, and even if you do, again, I would still say Page of Cups is very, you know, the pages are very lighthearted, playful, fun energy. So I definitely feel that some of you uh, need to like socialize. Uh, with the four of wands, you have the temperance card. Yeah, I feel like this is what you've been waiting for, <laughs> is what I feel like saying. It's like you're you're going to be committing to something that you've been waiting for. And it, it, again, it does not have to be love. The four of wands can be marriage to anything. It can just be a commitment to anything that you're committing to. And I feel like you've been like working and, you know, the temperance card is trying to turn water into wine, but, you know, you've been doing, going through this process, this journey, the moon, I'm going to call it the moon's journey, even though that isn't a thing. It, you know, it's the fool's journey, but I feel like this reading is talking about the moon's journey. Like, I feel like Libra has been marching down this path on the moon for a very long time. And it, you know, it's been a time of confusion or not being clear. And I feel like this is what you've been waiting for. It's like, you're finally getting your result. Uh, with the two of wands, you have the four of cups. Yeah. Like, I feel like you could also open up to something here, you know, especially if this is a love offer. 
you know, he's been disappointed at least three times, and now he's getting a new offer, but this new offer is new. It's something completely different, so don't be afraid to open up to, like, new offers, new opportunities, new people. You know, I think it'll be very beneficial for you, and that's what I would do with the four cups is, like, not stay closed off. This could also be any other type of offer. Uh, like I said, it could be, like, a work offer, business offer, uh, money offer, something like that, and, you know, I, I think that you're maybe a little bit too used to being disappointed, so I would open up to something new. Uh, you have this December card and this crack cup card. It says dissatisfaction with life. I love this card, <laughs> even though it says dissatisfaction with life. I love this card because sometimes I think dissatisfaction is just that one thing we need to get motivated uh, to become successful. It's like we realize that we're, if, you know, if we ever want to have something that we desire, that we have to be the ones to make it happen. And that's kind of what I feel that card saying. Uh, you have this great passion card. I like definitely I, like I would be doing more things that you are passionate about, especially with that Queen of Cups in the page of wands here. You know, the Queen of Cups is passion really because she follows her heart, which is she's following her passions. Page of wands is just passionate. And I feel that will kind of bring more help to your life. You have this unicorn. It says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. The moon card we were talking all about your intuition and trusting your intuition. You have this ladder, it says climbing towards success. Yes, the whole entire reading basically says you are working and climbing towards success. Uh, you have this older woman, it says dealings or relationships with an older woman. You also have this ram, it says a stubborn, aggressive person. If you have an older, I would say it doesn't even have to be a woman. This could be, you know, your boss or someone you work with. You know, this could be a clue that it's time to like work your way away from someone or something that is like stubborn, aggressive, unwilling to change. And I would be careful of that. Definitely could be an Aries. Uh, you All year this year, you've had Aries in my readings. And, you know, this could be a difficult person that you're wor working with or something. But uh, this looks really good, Libra. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.